has Andy risen to the challenge and created three faultless plates of food. His starter is Thai-style coconut crab salad with chili, lotus root crisps and micro-herbs. The crab stands out, the chili heat, the saltiness which goes to the dressing, the sourness of the fresh lime juice on the salad, and you still have the sweetness of that coconut which backs the whole thing up. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. For a little light dish, that is punching well above its weight. Those flavours are quite extraordinary. Yeah, that's lovely. Very, very, very well done, young man. For his main, Andy's made glazed duck breast with duck leg ravioli, mushrooms, chilli, spring onions and ginger. The duck is slightly undercooked but the intensity of flavour is so much that I forgive it because it is, I think, inspiring. The duck comes through, hints of ginger, again a little bit of spice, and it finishes with woodland mushroom. I think your flavour combination is absolutely stunning. That is terrific, really, really terrific. Andy's pudding is a mango, crispy coconut and passion fruit sundae. Every single flavour in there is just so fresh and so delicious. You get the crunch of the mango in the little cubes, you get the softness and that sort of air almost of the coconut. I think the flavours in there are fantastic. I think the idea is fantastic. I hate the glass. Oh, really? I think it makes it look really cheap. To work so hard and to keep all those flavours as natural as you can is the work of a talented man. And that is pure heaven on the end of my spoon. That is a thing of absolute joy. Will Andy's lamb cutlets with morel stew, deep fried lamb's breast with grilled lamb's tongue, and lamb suet pudding with sweetbreads and salsify impress the chefs? All of us, I have to be pretty impressed that the level of, of skill level shown has been pretty impressive. The lamb's cooked beautifully well and he's done a good job very good job you know i'm sure there's a lot of chefs cooking in, in britain today who wouldn't know how to do all the different components of this dish so i think they've done incredibly well i ate mine and i think that's the best compliment i can pay to the dish hey, andy. hello andy first of all well done because that is not easy there's a lot going on that plate and I think even for one of us, that would have been pretty difficult. Thank you. I've seen people with 10, 15 years experience not do it as good as you have. My meat was perfect. There were some very, very good skills. The butchery was fantastic. I think you've done a very good job. You should be pleased with yourself. I'm amazed by what you produce, clearly. Just great skill. Totally appreciate your comments. And today has been, yeah, a real challenge. And, um, you know, there are moments today when I was really up against it, but... Yeah, I've enjoyed the experience, so thank you. Christopher's first dish is sea bass on chorizo and potatoes with a tomato herb and olive salsa, followed by a classic summer fruit pudding with blackberry coulis and lime creme fraiche. I love the intensity of those really sweet tomatoes with the basil, and then right at the last minute, I'm still left with that beautiful, rich, perfectly cooked piece of sea bass. This is good looking, well composed, thought about food.
that is food that people will buy and happily eat. I think you have an exceptional palate. Finish with the fish. Pudding. You start with the intense blackberry, but then suddenly you get this wonderful fresh ping of tropical flavour from that lime rind that sits on top of the cream. It's simply delicious. Naturally sweet, natural juice, big pile of summer goodness, and uh, I'll quite happily stick my face in it. But hunger for this competition, do you have it? Yeah, absolutely, I am hungry for the competition. But the more and more that I've done over the last couple of days, then hopefully that'll build my confidence. You three are great amateur cooks. But as you know, we've only got one place. Our quarter finalist. is Chris. Congratulations. <laughs> Nicole is hoping her cod and shellfish main, followed by a chocolate and almond cake with Kirsch cherries, will win her a place in the quarter-final. The fish is just slightly overcooked. But the flavours of the potatoes with their skin on, the clam, the sweet mussels, the saltiness of those shrimps is absolutely lovely. Thank you. I think we are but inches away from a stunningly good dish. Thank you. Let's move on. We've got cocoa and cherries and cream. And at first, I thought, got very little flavour, but it just keeps on coming. And now my, my mouth is full of cocoa, which is lovely, really lovely. The chocolate and almond flavours are just heavenly. I mean, they're just like a big hug. I love that. It's a lot lighter than it looks. What do you think it would take to progress through MasterChef? It takes guts and determination, and yeah, I've got it in spades for We have made the decision, it was difficult, but we have made our decision because we've only got one quarter-final place. Our winner, our quarter-finalist... ..is Julian. That's oh, fantastic. Well done. It's now time for Andy, Christopher and Matt to face the most demanding test of all. They each have to cook the signature dish that has helped make the restaurant famous and serve it to the legendary chef who created it. This is the highest level of a professional chef. I just hope they're up to it. Cooking for chef is definitely daunting. If he's happy to serve it in his restaurant, I'll be well chuffed. Shaking a little bit, just, uh, you know, ner nerves, basically, but I've got the idea of how the dish would look, and it's just phenomenal, like nothing I've ever seen. The skill to do this is very difficult to explain it. It's all my worst nightmares, yeah. Thank you. Eh? Looks well. Has Andy managed to perfect Arzac's famed dessert of grilled spiced pineapple with flowers, nuts and an exploding pina colada shake? Si. Sí. Un poquito. Está mejor que la nuestra. My father says this is better than ours, eh? And Andy, congratulations, eh? So we, he says congratulations. And me as well. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Muy bien. Muy bien. No creía que iba a ser así. He neither thought that he was going to be so good. That was awesome. What a day. I'm blown away.